Hi! Hi there, hello, how are you? I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day so far. Today, I'm gonna show you the Dyson of the vape world. Maybe the only vape that ever needs to exist. That is a bold statement. <laughs> Prior to this, a battery was just a battery. Honestly, like uh, the only difference whenever I go to the store to buy a battery, how long the battery life will last, how long does it take to charge, what kind of charging port does it have. Um, a lot of times it's just like a personal preference on the design. You're always going to get something that's, that's I don't know, kind of general. So I was also like in the school of thought that a vape battery is just a vape battery. Until I got my hands on the Toki 510, I put a cart from another pen that just kind of tasted, they kind of all taste the same, and I stuck it in my Toki, it tasted like a hibiscus lemonade. I couldn't even recall what the strain was, but I was like, this is lovely. Oh, by the way, we're gonna do a little session in this video, so if you'd like to grab something, go for it. We're also doing dabs in this, so. Let's unbox it first. Unboxing the Toki 510, it gives you very much smartphone vibes. You're going to get the vape in the top. Once you pull that little sleeve out, there is a manual. You're also going to get the wall adapter to charge it as well as a USB-C cord. But once you start using it, you kind of pay attention to all the little things. Like for example, the base of it is weighted and it's flat, so you can actually stand it upright. It's flat, so it fits very easily into your pocket. The button is really easily accessible right here in the middle and then the top part is where you attach a car obviously because it is an open design it means it fits literally every single 510 cart you have even like the big fat chonky ones and this is the first piece of technology that you're going to notice is when you put your car on it's going to blink colors on the inside right here if it's not seated properly, it will blink red. If it is seated properly, it will blink green. You no longer have to guess. If it's the battery's problem, a connection problem, every single other battery I've ever owned has never given me like actual feedback if the cart was installed correctly. The next thing you're going to notice is the taste of the carts because if you're like me, you literally just take the vape out of the package, twist something on and take a hit before reading any instructions, before charging it, before literally doing anything else. So cheers. Um, I'm gonna switch to the other Toki because I feel like you can't see the color um, and this brightness of the white. I'm gonna quickly rip it out. Do you wanna peel these with me? It's when you get a new one, you get, ooh, all the peeling, other side. What makes this thing so special is because it was designed by Drew Henson. I did a little Googling. I wanted to see this guy's background. Apparently he is pretty well renowned in the tech world, especially the cannabis tech world. He is a former designer and engineer for NASA and Formula One racing, which are like two companies or brands or whatever you would call them that have like the highest standard of excellence. Like you need to be what genius level. He got the idea to make the Toki 510 because he was like me and probably also like you, super annoyed with literally every other battery on the market that doesn't do anything special that you end up tossing and replacing every couple of months that don't hold a charge very well that just are garbage. Like they're just disposable. I feel like a regular vape that you can get or vape battery that you can get at a gas station or a smoke shop or even most places online are just as disposable as a freaking disposable. A few things about this, it is actually QI wireless charging compatible. It's the very first vape battery on the market ever to be wireless charging. You can also charge it with a USB-C. It is rapid charging, so it's gonna get to 85% charged in only 20 minutes. It'll be fully charged in 40 minutes. And when it's done charging, it turns green. It does have a 400 milliamp battery. It lasts approximately 150 hits. It has lock and unlock features, so if you press the button five times and it turns turns red, it's going to be locked and unable to take a hit. If you press it again five more times, it's going to flash the color of uh, the temperature that you're at. It does have three different temperature settings. The lowest is the cyan color and it's 2.8 volts. The middle is this like darker blue, royal blue color. It's 3.2 volts. And then the highest is this purple at 3.6 volts. You can blinker this one. And this is the only vape that I will ever tell you that you can blinker. No other vape battery on the market has a computer inside of it to regulate your hits to make sure that blinkering it doesn't fuck up your car. Actually, Toki has smart circuitry built in that provides a predictable and consistent experience that cheaper 510 batteries just like they literally can't do. The Toki 510 system micro adjusts to provide measured and consistent temperature settings that will not overheat 
or burn your cartridges or concentrate. Basically what it's saying is that there's a little computer chip inside of here that's going to regulate every single one of your hits so that you have like the most optimal experience. You're going to get the best hit, the best flavor, and you can blinker it in eight seconds and, and get ripped. Okay, one more hit on this real quick and then we're gonna switch over to the dab cartridge. Ready? That's fucking good. Next up, we're going to try the 510 dab cartridge. I've already tried this on the white one. I freaking love it. And I think that I have it like totally mastered so that I can show you now. It does say the compatibility of it is shatter, diamonds, butter, caviar, live resin, live rosin. Basically, you can put any sort of concentrate in this. And um, my God, it is relatively cheap. Like you could get the battery, the dab cartridge, and this little guy that is machine milled to hold six cards. Is that it comes in two colors. I'll show you the silver one in a little bit. Um, you would get all of that for under 100 bucks. Isn't that wild? Let's get back into this again. This here is the 510 dab cartridge and it is sexy as hell. It is black to match. You can get black or white like I have the white one for my white um, pen and then the black one for the black one. All together, it also flashes to make sure that you know that it was installed correctly. All together, that is a sexy looking vape. This little dab cartridge is $12. It comes in one piece, but you can split it into three pieces. The bottom is going to be the quartz tank. It is replaceable. It has a stainless steel coil. The body is stainless steel, and then the mouthpiece has a built-in dab tool. You don't even have to have a separate dab tool. And you don't have to put it down where it gets dirty anywhere. Okay, so we're gonna load this up. We're gonna take a hit. Um, the only problem is that mine is in a bucket just hot tip, get it down there at the coil. Just get, mush it down right in there. So we'll just reattach that. I'm green, I know I'm good to go. Having dabs on the go this easily or just like around the house, I don't have to load up an entire rig. This is like, this is cool, cheers. <laughs> that felt like a much larger hit than it looked. It's a little bit easier to see on black. I added a little bit more. Okay, I was on the hottest, I've been on the hottest temperature this entire time. This is the lowest setting. You really should be keeping it straight up and down. Still an absolute ton of cloud. Okay, so I showed you the rose gold cart holder. Let me show you the silver one. I have like the full lineup. I'm showing you everything from Toki today. It comes in its own little bag. You have space for six cartridges as well as two dab tools, but you kind of don't need a dab tool because it comes with a dab tool built in. I have two more things to show you from Toki. This first one is the wireless charging pad. This thing is the wireless charger for your vape, but it wireless charges anything that's QI, wireless charging compatible like any phone or Apple watch. It does remain plugged in to um, a power source of some sort. Whereas this other thing, the Toki wireless power bank is going to be the thing you charge that then charges all of your things on the go. And this again charges everything that is QI um, wireless charging compatible. It has suction cups on the back of it though. It's a 10,000 milliamp portable power bank with wireless charging and USB-A output. USB-C and micro USB input means you can always find the right charging cable to power up. Supports simultaneous charging of two devices at once. Press onto the back of your phone and push a button and watch the wireless charging magic happen. It gives you up to four full phone charges, which my husband desperately needs because his phone dies in the middle of the day every day. Now he could just suction cup to the back and he doesn't have to have it tied or tethered to like a wall somewhere. This one's the 10,000 milliamp one, but they do also have a 5,000 milliamp if you don't need something quite this big. We do have a coupon code. It's Chrissy15. You can save 15% off of your entire order. It's already, in my opinion, it's already cheap. I already feel like they should be charging more for it, but then they gave us a coupon code, so that was pretty sweet. That is it. That's everything that I have for you all today. Thank you all so damn much for being here. Please consider hitting subscribe before you leave if you would not mind. It helps me out a whole lot. Huge shout 
shout out to all my patrons for making videos like this possible. To my Toki for sending all of this my way. I feel like I'm, a, I'm accepting an awards at the Grammys. I will put the links and codes down below for you. Thank you all so damn much for being here. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.